pickers only smokes we did it again oh boy oh yeah we really did it this time we bought a storage unit i don't know 175 let's call it 175. why didn't i buy this storage i don't know i thought you guys liked that sort of thing <laughs> so i bought it for you so whatever happens going forward is completely on you guys not me i can't control it, it wasn't my fault it was all you guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. And I know what you're thinking. What is going on with your mustache, beard? Like, what, what's what's going on here? And I have a perfectly good explanation for that. I don't know. To so join us here on Pickers Warehouse TV as we go unearth this mystery $175 storage unit. I'm not really looking forward to it. So, they were drug dealers and they're in prison? That's crazy. <laughs> Payment complete, so it was 162. That's good. That's not bad. Oh, so is it through that little hole right there? The P is the front when you turn left. Yeah. It's the very first one. And then it's like going to be in the hall, right? It's in the hall, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So this is an ex-mother-in-law who didn't have an ID, but desperately needed to put her stuff in a unit. So her ex-daughter-in-law was with her, rented the unit for her, and now it's been um, auctioned against the poor ex-daughter-in-law. Oh boy. It sounds like drug dealers that are in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Very shady, and they, they were in a rush to get it in there. Very mysterious. Pickers, we are here. Half of Bertha is empty. We could fit this whole biscuit and half of Bertha, but guess what? We don't really have to because I actually have a unit here that I rented to put some stuff in. Some of my storage finds. Here's the unit, and I don't even remember what it looks like. Let's take a look. Wow, there's a lot more than it looked like in the pictures. It's bigger than I thought. Good thing we got here late, huh? Man, there's all kinds of stuff. So the story is they kept paying, so... There's got to be something of value. Let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, look at the Mafia. It's Scarface. This one's got all the gangsters on it. Snoop Dogg. More musicians. That's three neat pictures already. I see the Walt and I see tools. I'm getting a little excited. I wasn't that excited, but now I'm kind of excited. Just found a man's body in a bag. Look at that. We got a bunch of hats. Some of these got tags on them. Kind of cool. Even more hats. Golden State, San Francisco. Cool. I'm just going to keep the clean ones. A bunch of used, really ripped up jeans. Got to check each pocket because you never know when you're going to find 50 bucks. That's got stuff in it. There's stuff in everything. There's movies in there. Just like a uh, drug pipe. It looks like a bunch of drug pipes. Oh, I dropped one. 700 yards of six pound test. All right. Could probably use that. I'm afraid to touch any of this now. We've got a little compressor. That's kind of cool. Not bad. Looks okay. I see a banana. <laughs> oh man, this guy loved hats. There's some cool hats too. Not that one. Saint Germain. Look at those. Those are beefy. There's a whole, a whole case of those. Look at that guy. Variable speed Ryobi saw. But look, it's a thing. That's cool. There's a mystery hat box. Come on, something cool. Oh, that is kind of cool. We like those. Those are pretty. Looks like kind of just a crafting deal. Shop vac. That's kind of cool. Everybody needs one of those. I like it. Oh yeah. Tools. All hand tools and a toothbrush. <laughs> In case you're out there working and you want to get your brush on, freshen up for your loved one. What is this guy? Robo. Robo the fan. Oh my God, I love that. It's a robot fan. And he probably does robot things. Oh, I'm keeping that. My wife's gonna love it. She's not gonna love it, but, oh, that's cool. I'm excited about that. Put that in the keep pile for sure. 
What else is in this beautiful situation here? Black duct tape, mine. We got a t-shirt. Microwave popcorn. Again, you wanna go out with your lady or your fella. And then we got a heater, an old heater. That's about it for this little motor. Let's see what this is. Michael Kors. I don't know if it's real, but it's kind of cool. Is this a thing that opens? It does open. Does it stay open? This thing's gonna kill me. Oh, neat. What is going on in here? There's somebody's hair. Oh my God, that's shouldn't be on my hands. We got a toolbox. Not a great one, but it's full of little, it's full of little stuff. This is also full of tools. Full of little tools. Look at that big old screwdriver, y'all. Some old uh, mixer. There's a preamp, a microphone. Well, a shell tool microphone. Nice fat hammer. There's like a lamp. A lantern, rather. Yeah. This is good flea market candy. There's two big monitors. Acoustic response audio video monitor. I'm not familiar with that brand. But there's two of them. I wonder if anybody's buying that or not. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And that reveals trunks. Trunk, kind of a trunk, trunk, trunk. So the second half of this is looking much better. We'll see, but visually looking much better. Let's get into these trunks. Here we go. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm gonna guess it's empty. Why isn't that opening? Let's see. There's an alligator, some Day of the Dead dolls. There we go, some jerseys. More Day of the Dead dolls, those are kind of cool. And then you get into an old rice jersey, boom. See, I'm doing the hold it, film it, but that's a good jersey. And then this one, Montana, my two favorite players, Montana and rice great great find does that say super bowl look at that mitchell and ness these are real deal boy these are real deal throwbacks joe montana and jerry rice very good finds i'm not entirely sure offhand but it's possible that those two jerseys Maybe even one of them, but those two jerseys could very well pay for the entire unit. All right, we got a couple of tin signs. Kind of neat. Here's the even bigger, heavier trunk. Well, it's not too heavy. Does it have wheels? Oh, that'd be great news. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on in there, huh? This looks like it might be a lot of personal. Try to be gentle with it. I think this is a lot of personal. So, you know what we do with personal? We're gonna give it back. These are decent shoes. I'd probably rock those if I could fit them. A whole deal of nice looking shoes. Right? Oh yeah, there's something in the cooler. Oh buddy, the cooler's heavy. Score, look at that. That's a great cooler. Craftsman, variable speed. This is all the stuff. This right here might pay for the unit. Craftsman. Black and Decker. That one, this is, that was great. We're putting that directly into the van. That's a home run little tote. 
All right, this says Milwaukee. Different little tool items. And this looks like it's all gonna be clothes. Right here on top of the knives. So you got knives pointing upward. And you got that. If you guys know what that is. I don't wanna reach in there now because the knives that were pointing upward. I'm afraid of this whole deal. What is that? What is that? Whoa! That's a big Budweiser full of coins. So we're keeping that. Dale Earnhardt, man, that's awesome. We're going to get into the trunks now. Sorry if the camera angles suck, but it is what it is. I wasn't going to unbox it here, but I figured why not? Let's just do it. And that trunk is full of clothing. Academics. Shorts. 40 bucks. Hmm. And this looks like it's going to be towels. Towels and stuff. Let's make sure of that. What is this? Light bulbs? Fruit. What? Glass fruit. Kind of afraid to reach in there. There's a glass carrot. Look at those. Those are glass fruits. I kind of like those. They're heavy. There's a chili pepper. Nice. Okay, we're going to keep those. What's in the bag, though? It's a glass apple. It's a glapple. But what I saw was these stickers. So believe it or not, if these are old kind of gangster stickers, that's money. You guys, remember the RoboFan? I don't know if it's focusing, but the RoboFan. Oh, yeah. That's why it was so cool, because it is cool. <laughs> Pickers that got dark on us. And I'm hungry. So, we did about 75% of the work. We're going to come back tomorrow and finish it up. I'll probably start my day by bundling up bags of clothing for donation. We'll get those donated to the people and out of the van to make room for the rest of what we're doing tomorrow. So, not a bad day. Really, I mean, just that... The Robo fan, you know, up and down, who knows, but it looks to be in nice condition. Could be a hundred bucks on its own. The drills, the tools, the vintage stickers. I can't even remember all of what we found so far, but $160, $170 unit, I can't remember. Around there somewhere. This is probably a home run. And you know, the the new Levi's, there was just a lot of stuff. And if you take all that little extra stuff. That's another like $400 flea market load, just in random dollar and two, three dollar things. So, kind of cool. I don't know. I don't feel crappy about it. <laughs> A lot of fun. Hope you've enjoyed the video up till this far. I'll probably make this into one video. So, stay tuned because tomorrow happens now. Pickers, my friends. Oh, it's day number two on this unit, and we spent the better part of the morning going through the clothing that I'd brought home and bagging it up for donations. So we got like 15 big bags of clothing that's going to go to the donation place right now. And within that clothing, we found some, some rare Looney Tunes jackets and some sports stuff. I'd say another easy $200 in clothes. And that's just a few pieces that we kept, some really cool kind of rare stuff. So good, that's great. I think we're doing great on this unit. Oh, I'm so happy about that robot. That robot's my favorite. It's gonna be hard not to keep it. What better way to get air on you than having a cool robot, a vintage robot blow the air on you. So we're gonna go to the donation place right now and uh, fill the box. Yes. You can go. Yes, I'm filming. Student driver. <laughs> get him. And we're back at the $3 million, at the $150 unit. <laughs> we had to stuff some stuff back in here because we had to wrap up last night. It got dark and it was dinner time. So that's what we did. We're gonna go through the remainder of this. This is all personal. That, That's full of personal, that's full of personal. This is a keep bag that we made, that's personal. That's a keep box that we made. So we'll start putting the keep in 
and we will unbox the rest of this right now. All right. Just what we need, two more deluxe camping chairs. You guys know that I found like 15 camping chairs in the last unit. I brought them all to the flea market. They didn't sell. I gave away three or four of them to friends so they could sit in them while they were selling. And then I had a dollar sale they didn't sell, and then I had a free sale they didn't go. So I thought camping chairs were awesome. I thought that was a great thing, but people around here do not pay for or accept camping chairs for free. Isn't that crazy? Here's a whole thing of doodads and tools. You see, where else can you get deodorant and tools? The same place, it's not a bad hammer. Flashlights, measuring tapes, bunch of little stuff. So that'll do okay at the flea market. Astra out of a 57 Chevy. <laughs> All right, we got a Ninja Turtle. We got these little cute things, inspirational laundry <laughs> biscuits. More skeletons. Lots of skeletons in these closets. Various holiday items. There's a lighter. Some spooky Halloween lights. Not my favorite box. We got a cooler here, and it is, of course, full of nothing. No, it, it has a lot of tools in it. Some big tools right there. Boy, damn. What are you gonna What are you gonna cut with those? Those are giant. A grinder with no cable to it. Angle grinder with no cord. So. Oh, here's another one. There's an angle grinder with kind of a cable. I'm probably going to throw these away. We've done it. We've reached the last box. That's cute. That's, uh, yeah, that's cute. Hello Kitty stuff. Another kind of skeleton. Oh, it lights up. Boom, boom. That's kind of neat. Look at that baby little guitar amp. Bam, 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 bam. Light machine. See, even though it's kind of cool, I'll bet you that's like three bucks. It's a tough business. Spiders! Look at that. I'm gonna give that back to the people too, because we don't really sell crosses or, um, well, we don't really sell Bibles and stuff, so we'll give that back to the people, because otherwise we would just take it to the flea market and give it away there. Wizard of Oz. Oh, it's like a Wizard of Oz art thing. That's cool. More Day of the Dead stuff. Day of the Dead stuff. Pickers, holy smokes, we're done. We're done with that unit. It's all in there. A lot of good keep stuff. Good amount of trash too. Uh, not a huge deal. And then there's this much personal stuff that's gonna get returned, including um, the remains of a loved one ashes uh, actually I think there was two two ashes in there so it's the reality man when I saw that and I started seeing like the memorial stuff it really kind of hit me hard and this business does that to you people get into this thinking it's gonna be treasure hunting and stuff and most of the time it is but um, sometimes you get reality and emotion it can be kind of heavy at times you know unraveling people's different stories could be uh, quite a quite an experience. So I respect that. I sympathize with that. I hope that the money I spent on this, you know, pays their lien and, and does something positive for them. And we're giving back the personal stuff. Um, yeah, kind of a heavy deal there, but so glad to be done with this one. It is done. It is clean. Most of the garbage is at the garbage. All of the clothes have been repurposed and donated which is awesome, except for a few pieces that were quite valuable. We're keeping those to resell, to feed our own family. And the cycle of life continues. What a beautiful ups, downs, but it's a beautiful thing. It's life. And uh, I learned something new about it every single day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, tell a buddy, <laughs> call grandma, say, hey, Pickers Warehouse is on YouTube. You should definitely check it out. That's my main advice to you is, is tell grandma to subscribe, please, or your granddaughter. Wh whoever you have that's grand, 
let them know that we love them and they're welcome here at Pickers Warehouse. Until next time, we'll see you. Love you very much. And I'm... Mm -hmm.